We are joined once again as we are each week by our guru in happiness and prosperity, <laughs> Reverend Greg Dorst. And Greg, something I've heard, and I wanted to get your thoughts on it, is that service to others can be very beneficial for ourselves. Well, it can, Ron. Service is one of the most important things in a life that really matters. First, it gets you out of yourself. And if you spend a lot of time in that head of yours, thinking about... Uh, You've been in there? Uh, you well, know. When I say your head, I mean my head. It's, oh, okay. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's a <laughs> well, mine's no picnic either. So. It's a dangerous place to be. <laughs> yes, it, it can is. be very dangerous because even though your life might be 99% right on, you're going to focus on the stuff that's not. Mm -hmm. That 1% of your life that just doesn't feel right. So if you're like that, then service is really one of the best ways to get out of that and to get into something that really matters, to create a life that matters for somebody else and yourself. You know, service uh, has some roots uh, in the East as well as now here in the West. You know, uh, sacred service or seva is something that's very, very important to the uh, religious traditions that believe in enlightenment. And so being of service is really an important aspect of life in Eastern philosophy, and it is right here in Western philosophy as well. We do so many things for other people here. And the benefit is, the gift is really to the giver. Yeah, it really is. And, and I've shared with people that are struggling or looking for something in their lives. One of the first things I say is find something you're passionate about, then figure out how you can volunteer or be of service within that realm. Sure. And it's life changing. Yeah, and not only for the people that you're working with, but for yourself. I mean, this is how to gain purpose in life. If you feel from time to time that your life doesn't have any purpose or you don't know what that is, try some selfless service. Try working with people that really need your help. Mm -hmm. You know, try giving of yourself. It's and really it's really a great way to make your life uh, better. And it's fulfilling and it can be fun as well. It doesn't have to be treasury or work. Whether you join a service organization or club like Rotary, Alliance, Kiwanis, mm -hmm. whether you get involved with your church or synagogue and you're helping feed homeless people, mm -hmm. whatever it is that you're doing, you're benefiting the world. And we know, as you've mentioned in the past, what we put out there comes back to us. Yeah. And it's giving us a whole new perspective on life and on our life. What happens many times, Ron, is that when you engage in service, you end up being drawn to people who are engaged in the same kind of service, and a community is created. I mean, that's what the service clubs are all about, you know, the Rotaries and the Kiwanis Clubs and the Optimist and Sir Optimist Clubs. They're about uh, creating a community where there's a great consciousness around helping people. And, you know, it's that shared consciousness. You're doing good. You're with friends. You have that family. You get the oxytocin flowing. Yeah. As for my friend Paul Zak, who wrote a book on that. Um, and it, it, it's, it's healthy, it's beneficial, and it's good. Sunday services at the Claremont Center for Spiritual Living. What time? 10.30 a.m. 10.30 a.m. Uh, website? Uh, www.claremontcsl.org. Check it out, and if you miss the service, you can hear his wonderful lessons online. Greg, thank you so much. Thank you, Ron. We'll be right back.